It's Nicole, yeah, simply Nicole. And she back yet with another video. It's Nicole, yeah, simply Nicole. Don't forget to like the video and comment below. It's Nicole, yeah, simply Nicole. And she back yet. Okay, my birthday. So, as you guys know, like I said, I vlogged all week, but it didn't work out. Um, so right now I'm with Sydney, we're on the way to this museum to do um, an assignment for our class. So um, I wanted to tell her about a date that I went on yesterday and I was just really, really nervous the whole time and I wanted to hear about it and tell y'all about it and explain why I might've been nervous because honestly, I really don't even like this person like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't, like, I, I don't know, maybe I do. I'm just really like fighting myself. I don't know what's going on. But we're gonna figure it out. So I'm gonna start by saying this. Dating is something that is very new to me. I've only been on probably like four dates in my entire life. So going out with a guy one-on-one -on -one that I could potentially be attracted to is still very anxiety provoking in me. It doesn't matter how long I've known you or whatever. If I think I like you or if I thought I liked you for a little bit, I'm gonna be nervous. <laughs> so here's how it happened. So basically we talk like every week or whatever. And so basically he was like, okay, like I'm going to get dinner, like you wanna come with me? In my mind I'm thinking like, dang, I don't wanna go with him, like I'm tired, I'm not even hungry, but I wanna hang out with him, so fine. Like who could it hurt? But it ended up hurting me, but anyway. So, you know, a couple minutes later, we meet and we walk downtown. Nothing awkward happened during the walk downtown. It was fine. I was just trying to keep the conversation going. Cause another thing with me is since I'm quiet, I always feel like when I'm hanging out with another person, if there's silence, I feel like it's my job to feel the silence because I'm so self-conscious about how I'm kind of quiet if I'm not like comfortable with you. So there's a sign, you see how it says Campbell Geology Museum? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then we finally get to the restaurant and at this point I'm thinking, okay, here's where it's about to go down. We're about to be face to face and I can't no, escape. I'm so, <laughs> no, I'm dead. so we get to the line and I'm like, okay, you go first. Cause I'm just trying to get myself together. So he goes first and then I go. And then I'm getting like really like anxious. And so then we sit down and so I'm like, okay, I gotta say something when I sit down because like, like I said, I feel awkward. I was like, oh man, I hope this is good. Like, whatever. Mm. So that's all I could say. Like the food or the conversation? Yeah, yeah no, the oh. food. I'm like, I hope this is yeah, good. I've never been to Chipotle. And really? I like Moe's. So we're basically just sitting there having a conversation. And then this is where it gets kind of weird. So like I said, I've never been out one-on-one -on -one with this person. Usually when we talk, we're just hanging out laughing, having a good time. So while this wasn't a date, it was just a friendly outing. It was still like one-on-one -on -one. and like, I don't know, I just, I just felt like it was like a more serious thing. So we're talking and this person, um, he dates like girls that aren't black, but he's black. Oh really? Yeah, that. yeah. I didn't know that. So I kind of brought up, you know, is it true that you only date girls that are not black? And there's really no funny way to bring that up. There's no nice way to ease into that. Yeah. I promise you my brakes are good by the way. They they said that my brake pads just rubbed together like that. Now you know you was wrong for that. No, go keep right out of here, those signs. Keep right. Yeah, geology museum. Okay. You gotta go all the way up this hill. It's a mess. Anyway. Okay. So we're talking and then I bring up, I'm like, is it, is it true that you only date white girls? And then he's like, he's like a really nice guy. So I, I'm sure when I said that, it kind of threw him off guard. But he was just like, no, like everyone thinks that, but like I promise it's not true. I just um, don't really ever get a chance to talk to the black girls that I think are attractive on campus. And so I'm like, oh, okay. And then he starts naming like a couple black girls that he thinks are attractive, but he didn't name me. So mm. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'm like, I'm like, oh, like he, he, he would never uh, date me. Yeah, keep straight. And so then he was like, then I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, so after you got done explaining this, how, you know, he doesn't discriminate. He just, it's just more about like mindset and stuff. Like everybody says that, whatever. Um, then he was like, why did you want to know? You better park in that parking lot. He was like, why did you want to know? And I was like, oh, I was just curious. And he was like, and then, but I was like, but I was hoping that you didn't only date white girls. And he was like, well, why? 
did it matter? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I was just curious. So basically, I was contradicting myself. And the real reason I wanted to know was because I had, at first, when I first met him, thought he was, like, really cute. And, like, I just kind of liked him a little bit. So I was wondering, like, if he would ever date me, like, what my chances were. And so basically, I didn't, I didn't like, straight up tell him that that's why I wanted to know. I just kind of played it off, but I'm sure he knows. Why did you want to know? I just said it. You weren't listening. I'm sorry. I was actually I know. driving. Okay. I got you. The reason I wanted to know is because, like I said, when I first like met him, I kind of thought, you know how when you first meet somebody, you think they're cute and you kind of think to yourself like, hmm, I wonder. Like, why did you? Because I thought he was cute. When like, I, like, why did you like white girls? Like, that's kind of what you think in your head. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, why I, I was, asked him. Yeah. But he was saying, but then, like I said. I, I heard the other part. He was, he was saying people think that. Yeah. I actually like these black girls. But what he I. He never named you. Yeah, he never named me, which, okay, obviously gotcha. he's not going to name me. It was a joke, but I still feel like he could have named me because. Yeah. Boys are weird. No, I, no, 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 no. I feel like they've been, like, naming two people, and then he would have been like, well, you. You know what I mean? But I don't think it would have been to that point yet. But it's okay. So, All anyway. he said was, like, attractive, right? He didn't even say date. Yeah, he was just saying like he just so he was like yeah look, there's some black girls on campus that are really pretty. He was like this girl, she's yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, all you had to do was name you. But I don't think he likes me. That's what I'm getting at. Like I don't right. think he's attracted to me. Right. I don't know. We don't know. But what I was saying was the way the reason I messed up was because I said I was like yeah you know I was hoping that you didn't just date white girls. And he was like well why were you hoping that? And mm-hmm. go ahead. Keep and going. so I the, I'm telling you all the reason I was hoping that was because when I first met him I had heard that about him and I want to know if it was true or not. Because I wanted to see what my chances were of us, like, potentially talking. <laughs> so, what are the chances now? And so, but then I didn't want to tell him that. <laughs> so, all I, so, all I said... <laughs> you gotta tell, I'm sorry. You so, gotta tell him so, so all I, I know. So, all I said was, you know what? I was just, I was kidding. Like, I was just being curious. Like, it doesn't really matter to me. But he knows that it does matter to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they know. So, they ain't, they ain't yeah, he, he know he's really smart and I mean, we know each other good enough. So, so what happened? So, like- I'm, so I'm gonna keep going. So then, that conversation, honestly, that's that was basically what the whole conversation was with him. Was him explaining that? And so then I start talking about which I, I don't know if I should have done this. I start talking about how I'm, you know, just not really talking to anyone. I'm just, I started basically feeling bad for myself. It was just a terrible. I don't know why, but I've done that too before. You just start like pointing out not the bad things, just, just like the sad just, things. And yeah, I was like, like you and just then, and, and then, like go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> and he was just basically, he was like, yeah, I've been there, and I was like, uh, I don't really want you to say that. Like, I'm not, I don't want you to give me advice. Like, I, I don't need that from you. And it's crazy because you know how awesome you really are, and it's kind of like, it's kind of, I know what you mean. You're trying to get on his level, but it's you don't want to sit there and like boast about yourself. Yeah, and in I a way, so you kind of like. Yeah. And I was telling him how we all get lonely. I was telling him how in the past I have settled for anything just to avoid being lonely. And I said at this point I'm oh, not no. doing that. Yeah, I said, I'm not right. doing that. So I'm just I'd rather be alone than be keeping misery around me. That's right. So boom. And so then basically I think I told him I said, you know, this was like really uncomfortable. And then there was guys, there was only guys in the restaurant. I was the only girl in the restaurant. But that's weird for Chipotle. It know. was like a whole bunch of white guys there and then me Thursday and him night? in the corner. Was it yeah. Like, it was Thursday last night, night last night. Yeah, and last night. And then, but he's like really nice, so um, he's just like, okay, let's go. That's how I'm not supposed to be working out, which I didn't even end up doing that night because I was so. I was in the gym all night last night. I would really? love some you company. Finally went. Oh, I was not working out. Oh, you were. I was there. working. Okay, um, yeah. let me just finish this story up. So we end up walking back, and then we get like to the stoplight. We're about to cross the street, and he's like, you know, I'm gonna do some research on that. And I'm like, I'm thinking, oh god. Well, research on what? Research what? on what? He's like, on why black girls get mad when they see a black guy with a white girl in blah blah. blah. He's like, we. I can tell you why we get mad. We get mad because we tell y'all for, we're not trying to hurt y'all when we say, why you with a white girl, don't date a white girl. We're telling you because we've seen the signs and symptoms. Like, they look, they're not all toxic, but a lot of them are toxic. Yeah. Or they don't want you for the right reasons. A black woman, she gonna want you for the right reasons. She gonna wanna. We grew up with black women in our household. We know black women. We're not out to get you. If anything, we're here to help you. Right, and that's what I was telling him back at the dinner. He was just like, yeah, white girls are just more abundant here. I don't so and so it's just easier for, or whatever not so much that they trying like the white girls are trying to take advantage but it's just it's just right more, I know I get that but it's also the whole well you don't have to settle for what's abundant you know that's true too so I'm like but I'm, I, get, so, I, mean, I get that and so he was like he was like if a black guy is with a white girl then why can't she just be happy like why can't they just be happy and I'm like you know what you're right and he was like no I'm not trying to be right I'm just trying to figure out maybe he's just never really understood that side of the argument because like you know whatever 
And so I just kind of then I don't I don't think I said anything. We just start talking about something else, and then that's just a really that's a weird debate. Like guys don't see it from our perspective for some reason until it happens to them. Like it's just that's a weird one. The whole white girl versus black guy thing. It's been an issue for a while. Um, and so then we get back and. I'm just thinking like okay that was a terrible conversation like, so like what do you feel like you took away from that well like then, that whole because i feel like he was just trying to get to know you a little bit better and clearly that's not what happened it kind of turned into like not a debate but like contradicting a little bit and i know it's not what you wanted at all you probably just wanted to get to know him too yes i don't think he was trying to get to know me so like because why would he why would somebody just know somebody unless they're interested in them i don't think he's interested nicole in he asked you to get dinner with him. Cause we're, but we're friends. I thought it was like a friendly thing. Even if you're friends, like friends go out to talk, to hang out, to get to know each other. Guys do the same thing. He wanted, He could have just went to Chipotle by himself and walked and been just fine. But, but he said, oh, let me ask Nicole and see if she wants to go. Let me get to know Nicole. No, I don't, I don't think it was like that. Because when it happened, I was already talking to him. And I was already talking about how we never hang out. See, so he's trying to hang out with you. No, I was talking about when they rang out. I, what I'm saying is, I feel like I kind of, I don't feel like I kind of, I feel like I kind of pushed it on him. Like I don't feel like he spontaneously thought, "Let me invite Nicole to Chipotle." I feel like it was kind of already. I mean, but it's, you didn't, you weren't expecting it. Yeah, no, but I still think that. Oh, I mean, you can't make a guy trust me. You can't make a guy do anything you don't want to do. Yeah, that's true. I don't think. I mean, I feel like it was pretty spontaneous. It's, and, and trust me, if a guy likes you, he'll ask you out. So, so you think he likes me? Yes. He went to your concert. We talk, I feel like he flirts with me. Then I'm like, maybe he's not flirting. Maybe he's just a nice guy that likes to make me laugh. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and now, then, you're, I mean, that's good. That, I mean, it's, it is what it is, but like, don't assume that like, he's not interested either. But then I know, but. Because uh, you're getting all these signals that he clearly is. And it's like. I don't think he is. We had the whole conversation. How do you keep thinking he's not? Like what's what's turning you away from that? The what? The going to your going to your concert, him asking you out to Chipotle, y'all talk simultaneously. What makes you think? Do you he's, think that the Chipotle date kind of like ruined everything? Well, has he talked to you since then? We don't talk like every day. We're not right, right, like right. That so I wouldn't expect him to. But I don't do you, think. It, well, what do you think? What kind of impression? Did I you, think it was fine. I'm sure he doesn't really care about it. Because like I said, I don't think he's really studying. Guys it. care though. I promise you, they they take the little things away from what you say. I think. And then the, the the whole concert thing. I was asking Keyshawn. I was like, why do you think he even came to my concert? Why else? Okay, he came because he because he, he wanted to support me. Right. But what I feel like, why would he do that? Guys though? have a billion things to do. That's what I'm saying. So like, I'm trying to figure out. You get what I'm saying, Nicole? Or maybe he didn't have anything to do and just wanted to come. I don't. know. <laughs> And, that, and I and like I'm saying, we are friends, so I feel like I should be able to just openly talk to these kind of things about him. Like, if, I, if I'm friends with you... Mm, but if you know that he kind of likes you... I don't know that. And I don't even know if I like him. Like, I'm really confused. You don't even have to know if you like him. You know when somebody likes you. I don't... I never those even thought signals, about that. Those signals, those thoughts go off in your head. First of all... But it's okay to make mistakes. Like, you keep saying, like, the date was bad, the date was... It's okay. Like, you just gotta, like learn from that like figure out what you did what you probably wouldn't do again and just move on I and if he just, really does like you he'll come back around i we'll probably have another date confused because i didn't know if are we going out as friends are we going out because it doesn't friends, matter but we like each other it like that, that does matter because that controls how i'm gonna but it shouldn't how i'm gonna <laughs> it shouldn't just talk to him i just got really nervous because you thought it was a date and it didn't have to be that it was just it was just because let's go get food and that was okay if we was to go to core Cause we've hung out in court before. But there's also more people in court, you know. Yeah, and like being yeah. like I said, this was totally different. But I feel like because you thought, oh, it's a date, he likes me, you completely like jacked it up and tw you know. You I wasn't. Just... I wasn't. Okay, you're right. I didn't think it's a date. He likes me. I think I was thinking, is this a date? Does he like y'all? I'm asking all these See? questions. You don't even have to, like, I'm because I'm learning too. You don't even have to ask all that. Like, just just let it happen. Just just do it. Like, and if dumb stuff happens, it happens. But if they really like you, they come back around. They don't care about the little dumb stuff. Trust me. Yeah, and I don't think I, I don't, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. Like, I just, I'm thinking it's bad. He, Boys he are enjoyed too, it. Yeah. Like, you be thinking, oh, he doesn't like me, he's dumped me. And then, like, two days later, hey, how are you? I'm like, I'm fine. It's like, 
it never happened in a way. I feel like I just have to go out with him more to yeah, get more get, comfortable. Because yeah. I was so I felt bad. I was like, I would just been. <laughs> I mean, because I like to conversate. I would have just been talking about random stuff. Yeah, because you're, you're like I said, I'm kind of quiet when well, I. Well, that's okay. Around. Like I said, like you just work on talking to people. You know okay, what I mean? Okay, so yes, tell me why Keyshawn texted me and said, "Oh, for the um." For all right, y'all, so I got invited to a formal tonight, and basically I didn't have any dresses to wear. It's a semi-formal, actually. So basically, it's like you're supposed to wear, like, cocktail dresses and stuff. Let me tell you, I don't have no cocktail dress. I'm not a big dress person. I prefer to wear, I prefer to wear skirts and pants and stuff, even in, like, a dressy way. But formals and stuff, people wear dresses, I don't have them. So let me tell you guys a story. So my mom mailed me my prom dress from senior year, and I'm going to show it to y'all. <laughs> so this is my prom dress from senior year you guys it's super long it's actually really pretty i got it from wind's door which is a really good store this is cute hold on i might wear this this is not cute because this is cute though uh, i'm gonna wear this low-key but then Keyshawn was telling me that People are wearing short dresses, but semi-formal doesn't mean, it doesn't mean short dress. It just means not as formal. And that's not, I mean, yeah, I wore it to prom, but it's still simple. And then I was going to just instead wear this. What should I do, y'all? I think I'm going to still wear a long dress. Let me go tell Keyshawn. I'm going to give you the world, baby girl. Hey, 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 I'm not washing my outfit. You washing your outfit? Nah, I'm not washing my outfit. But are you gonna wash your outfit though? Stop! Stop! <laughs> I thought you were yeah. washing clothes in general. I was washing clothes so I can wash my outfit as well. See, he is, isn't he weird? He's just like... I mean... you wanna waste water? You don't care about the environment? Well, just wash my outfit. Yeah. Anyway, Keyshawn, I think I'm gonna wear the long dress. How many times is that like a second take or something? God, <laughs> 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 I was like, I didn't even tell you. Remember that time he was like, uh, he made fun of Nicole and he was like, Yeah, he thinks he's too cool. For but yeah, have fun. I'm gonna wear the long dress, okay? I'm gonna put my hair on. How long by. is it? It's like floor length. Oh. Because I don't think semi means short dress. I think it just means you not. Yeah. You could probably show up in that outfit. And people no. will be asking. They'll be like, dang. First of all, did you see his hair? Like right now? What you saw? Yeah. What about? Are we roasting his hair? What's the problem? You go out a little bit of your hair. Ah, I got you. Ah. Cut smoke, cut smoke. This is a little, it's it like, it, it is like, it's like these little baby ones that stick look at, that's like, yeah. Look at size hair, like, it's so, like, long. Yeah, I need a haircut, dude. I'm probably going to get a cut for Thanksgiving or something. He got it long because he likes, he likes to hair grab during intercourse. I don't like my hair grab during intercourse. Uh, and then nice, he just, that's a he false statement. Just grab, that's a false like statement. That. And then yeah. he just, like, walks away. No, but it's so, like, okay. I, can't, I, can't I don't want to, like, be weird, but, like, <laughs> I'm just, oh, it's like. That's a micro Stop. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. It's not yeah, that a is micro a microaggression. How is it a microaggression? It's because I'm colored. It's no, I, I'm first colored. of all, we're all colored. And honestly, not, your hair isn't as soft as I thought it would be. Well, that's because it's dry right now. Sorry. That it's like so curly. Like, it's so. Is it curly? Yes. It's curly in the back. It's wavy in the front. I told you. Every time, every time I saw your hair, I'm like, so good. I can't sell it. Yeah, yeah, girls be wearing that. That's mm -hmm. prime. Yeah, y'all love that shit. Oh Black girls love Indian hair. True, true, true. That was good hair. I can't blame y'all. Oh, but I was gonna ask you, so where is home for you? DC. No, it's not. Okay, Northern Virginia. You're lying. Northern Virginia. Really? Yeah. But like, I just claim DC because everybody just doesn't know what Northern Virginia is. It's Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> I figured you were like from here. Really? Like everyone else. What, what like made you think that? I'm, not I'm kidding. You know Where are you from? Wait, let me guess. You're from Columbia. No. She's from Sumter. Like, no, I am not. 
Are you really from Sumter? No, I'm Isn't from... Isn't that like the most racist place in South Carolina? My grandparents should be. I'm from Atlanta. Oh, okay. ATO. 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 Have you been to Atlanta before? Once. Yeah, the Bears game. It was pretty cool. I wish we spent more time in the city, though. Yeah, that's that my only, favorite part. That was the only disappointment part. Like, we only spent like, probably like a few hours in the city. Not even. You know, it wasn't like the market and shit. Not really, though. Not really, though. <sighs> yeah. The food there is good, though. Grove Street Market has some fire ass food. That's one? That's what I'm here, right? I told you, bro. The Middle Eastern food is slick, bro. So y'all about to go to Fike right now? Yeah. And then he's gonna go to Formal. I'm gonna go back to Fike. To actually hoop. And then, are you going to Ryan's thing today? Depends on what time it is. What time it is. Who? Are you going to Ryan's thing? I wasn't invited. She didn't even know about his videos. Oh. So you, did, you weren't gonna tell me about something? Do you know who Ryan is? Ryan's a tall white dude who's remembered me last year. He's over here sometimes, got a long hair. Okay, well, he's having something tonight. It's his birthday tomorrow, so he's having a birthday party tonight. After the formal? Birthday kickback. Yeah. After the formal? Yeah. Probably, because yeah. Keyshawn needs to be there, because Keyshawn is the uh, official party organizer. Well, that was a bad idea, because he's a terrible planner. Yeah. I got to drink until I ask for anything. That was a huge success. Mm -hmm. Okay, huge success. Are we, still, are we still going to Miami for a spring break? Maybe. Maybe. Why? Somebody, some chick who was wearing Calvin Klein just died on there. She won't make the list. She got braids. She thinks she'll have it. She's all that. I don't think so. She might be getting out of body. It's just like vibes when we take a road trip. It just might not work. To can't have no faith in YouTube. Yeah. Like, it's like, I don't want all the clout, you know? Like, right. I just want to chill on Miami Beach. I don't want all these like, dudes running up to me and be like, oh, do you know something I call? Right. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, 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 no. Like, you're 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 makeup off and go to bed i just want to show y'all because i didn't show the vlog but i have bit videos on instagram i added the instagram live tutorial so y'all won't see that because it'll be down but if y'all ever want me to do a tutorial like this on my channel let me know this is super cute tomorrow is saturday i gotta write a, i'm gonna write a paper tomorrow and i'm gonna try to get up at early which means i should not stay up and watch a movie but like i'm gonna try to get up early like on the weekends let me tell y'all a little tip when you get to college on the weekends, I don't know, for me, sleeping in, it just kind of does me a disservice because, yeah, you get rest, but then the rest of the day is kind of like you don't do anything. Like, I don't know. I just, it's like if I don't get up early and start, because every day during the week I have 8 a.m. So I'm up at 730. So if I'm not, and this week was such such a weird week. I mean, ah, this hurts. This week was weird. I mean, it was just a lot going on. It was a lot going on this week, but. Yeah, I get up at before 8 and it's like on the weekends. My body's like, bro, don't even. And then that's why Mondays are so hard because then I sleep in on a weekend. Y'all see this braid finna come out? I'm not even gonna tell you. I, love, I took a lot of these braids out because they just were coming out. It's not her, her, it's not her fault. It's just my hair. It's just super bad at holding braids. But, like, y'all see that? Y'all see that? But. These braids is cute, so they staying in. And then the curls, I did it myself. But anyway, y'all. So let me tell you a little story from that little thing. So that little um, uh, formal. Let me tell y'all. Let me just be honest. So it really wasn't no black people there until like the middle and the end. But I saw these two black guys. <laughs> they walked in, and I was like, okay, period. So I saw them, did a DJ play a twerking song. 
So I was like, oh, looks like it's time for me to start twerking. So, I mean, they was happy because when they played the twerking song, them guys was dapping the DJ up. Like, they was happy. So I'm over there like, eh, eh, eh. And then I'm like, eh, eh, like, Keyshawn hopped me up, everything. They still not noticing. Because, <laughs> you know, it takes people a little minute. Eventually, bro, like, this one guy just started staring at me. I'm like, I'm like, huh. I'm like, and I'll look away. Next thing I know, he like, oh, um, what grade are you in? Or, no, he's like, what's your name, you know? And then he was like, what grade are you in? He said, bro, he said he was a freshman. I said, my face, I was like, he was like, are you a senior? I said, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even a senior. I'm a junior, but yeah, I'm a senior because... I just can't talk to no freshman. Like I, I can't talk to no freshman. I can't talk to no sophomore. I can't even talk to no junior. Like that joint's dead. Like I can't. Why? Would, I would not even want to talk. To, mm -mm, no. I just can't. I'm sorry. At this point, I'm sorry. Like I don't care who you are. It's a lot of cool freshmen. I know it's a lot of cool sophomores. Everything, but I can't talk to somebody that's my age or younger because it's just. Mm -mm. Y'all are too young for me. My hair is, my scalp is like scabbing. But it was funny because I was just like, I'm a senior. And then he was like, oh, I just wanted to tell you look really beautiful. So I was like, thank you. Then, you know, party goes on. He's still staring at me. Then next thing I know, he's like, oh, I'm going over there, but I'm going to be back. I'm coming back for you. I was like, good luck with that. So the other black guy, I didn't even ask him what great. Because I was like, I figured they both freshmen. They both came in there together. So I was like, okay, lame. And then some other black people actually came that I actually know. So that was fun because, girl, I was in there. I ain't know nobody. I'm hungry right now, though. Oh, my gosh. I ain't getting no food today. I'm about to go to bed. I'm about to watch a movie in the morning. If you would tap that. That's all for this vlog. I'm so sorry, y'all. I have literally, I kid you not, I vlogged all week. I had it all cute. It was, I edited it twice. I had different people in it. It was cute. But it just wasn't working out. And I, I'm sorry. This is just how it is. I'm really sorry. I let myself down. let you guys down. But all we got to do is just get right back up. Nothing can ever stop me. So let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm going to try to keep this vlog unedited and uncut. I'm gonna try to just throw it together because I think that's what happened. Like the last, like when I was editing this vlog for this week, I was trying so hard to edit it perfectly. I was trying to get the perfect music, perfect edits, perfect cuts, perfect timestamps. Just try to be perfect, 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 and it just ended up just not even being good at all. So we just gonna throw it together and go for it like that. And yeah, I love you guys. <laughs>